Gory. I just looked at him. Grizzly. And I started stabbing him. The most gruesome crime scene ever imagined. I just wanted him to feel the pain I felt. For cops, there's no mystery about who murdered 59-year-old Charlie Taylor. My daughter just called me and said my husband stabbed him to death. It's Charlie's daughter-in-law, Amanda Taylor, the so-called selfie killer. You heard right. She actually snaps a selfie right in front of the dead body, and she's holding the bloody knife. This was the first time I'd actually had a picture uh, of the murderer with the murder weapon and the victim inside the crime scene. How did Amanda and her friend go from party people into natural born killers? Amanda had a fantasy of going on a, you know, a mass shooting. At first glance, Amanda Taylor seems like any other 20 something in America. Piercings, tattoos, and endless selfies on social media. Amanda loved to hang with friends like Johnny Roebuck. My wife, Mariah, was best friends growing up with Amanda. Then I, I met Rex and we, we just hit it off. Rex was Amanda's husband. She had a young son living in Christiansburg, Virginia, in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. They had a very strong connection and you could tell that they loved each other very much. That love connection was bonded in a lust for blood, a fetish for murder. They were the type of people that they liked serial killers. It's a, uh, it's a hobby for some people, I guess. And for Amanda, that hobby turned into an obsession. Johnny says she fantasized about becoming a serial killer. I think a lot of it has to do with, with the, the thrill of murder. She had this voodoo over him to where he would, he would do anything to make her happy. But before Rex could help his princess bride achieve her deadly dream, tragedy would hit their marriage. I saw uh, Rex's grandmother outside. Of, I lived next door in the other apartment building, and she was hysterical. And she told me that that Buckshot killed himself, and and um, that was Rex's nickname that she had given him a long time ago. When Charlie had just found him, it was it was still early in the morning. At that point, Amanda didn't know yet. Rex hanged himself. A horrible end to a troubled life of opioid addiction. A grief-stricken Amanda blamed Rex's dad, Charlie, claiming he helped feed his son's addiction to pills. In my opinion, Charlie caused him to be addicted to them. I know it's I know it was Rex's choice to, you know, take the medicine and abuse it. But without a steady supply from his father, you know, things could have been different. Amanda soon found another soulmate who shared her vision of hell. His name, Sean Ball. It was never a romance there at all, but you could tell that Sean liked Amanda. And I think Amanda knew that too. He was just wanting to do anything to impress her. And in Amanda's sick world, what better way for Sean to impress her than claiming he's a killer? He claimed to be this ex-Special Forces Navy man. He claimed to have been involved in combat and killing in combat, uh, when actually um, Sean Ball lived a separate life. And none of those things that he claimed were actually true. He was a very shy person, portrayed himself to Amanda Taylor as being this person and being like-minded uh, in her uh, desires to carry out a murder spree. Okay. Homicide detective Robert New tells Crime Watch Daily Sean and Amanda worked out their sinister plan with military precision. The two were in possession of weapons, firearms. Uh, those had been stolen uh, from a relative's house and uh, that they had already purchased ammunition and magazines for those same weapons. It appeared that they were both in agreement with what was going to occur and that was going to start with the murder of Charles Taylor. Charlie Taylor, Amanda's father-in-law, the man she blames for her husband's suicide, and how she will exact revenge on Charlie will send chills up your spine. On a spring afternoon, Amanda and Sean went to Charlie's ramshackle house in nearby Ironto, Virginia. 
At exactly 3.27 p.m., the number that signifies the birthdays of Rex and Amanda, the murder of Charlie Taylor begins. Amanda starts stabbing. Sean is crushing the man's head with a tire iron. Then Amanda goes in for the kill, plunging the knife deep into Charlie. Amanda stabbed him a bone-chilling 31 times. She wanted him to know that she had killed him, and she wanted to feel him take his last breath. She wanted his death to be personal, to be, she wanted to stab him. The crime scene photos show the sheer brutality of the murder. Blood spatter everywhere, on the pictures, the walls. The couch is soaked. We knew what the brutality was from the crime scene we had had, and we had a great deal of concern that uh, they were going to continue this, uh, this killing spree. But Amanda isn't done yet. Amanda did something outrageous, taking her sick selfie, posting it on her social media accounts, calling herself the brunette bomber posing in front of Charlie's body. The knife is still dripping blood, the instrument of death in the hand of the devil incarnate. Working the crime scene that day, we actually had a picture. We were almost standing in the same spot where she was standing when she took the, uh, the selfie. Putting the picture taken by her right next to it, the only thing missing from our shot was her. A brazen Amanda asked this crime writer, we'll call Natasha, to post her selfie on her Tumblr blog. We're keeping her identity secret for her own protection. When I saw that selfie and the smirk on her face, I just felt sick to my stomach. She looked so proud of what she had done, and I just couldn't believe it. Natasha refused to post the picture and immediately called the cops. This was life or death, and, you know, she's saying that she's going to kill more innocent people. Something inside me just snapped, and I felt like if I could talk her down, if I could save one life, like, it will be worth it. It will be worth it. Amanda and Sean take the scenic route for their getaway, driving down the Blue Ridge Parkway from Virginia towards North Carolina. While on the lam, Amanda snaps this photo of a silver revolver in her lap. The Instagram posting reads more like a suicide note. All right, it's about that time. I'm going to go find my husband in hell and finally be at peace. Next, the selfie killer is about to strike again. She aimed the weapon and pulled the trigger. But Amanda's road trip to hell will quickly take a twisted turn no one saw coming. <laughs>